as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming. Maranatha, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Temptations in Disguise. I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. Acts 20, 29-30 God has not passed his people by and chosen one solitary man here and another there as the only ones worthy to be entrusted with his truth. He does not give one man new light contrary to the established faith of the body. In every reform men have arisen making this claim. One accepts some new and original idea which does not seem to conflict with the truth. He dwells upon it until it seems to him to be clothed with beauty and importance, for Satan has power to give this false appearance. At last it becomes the all-absorbing theme, the one great point around which everything centers and the truth is uprooted from the heart. I warn you to beware of these side issues, whose tendency is to divert the mind from the truth. Error is never harmless. It never sanctifies, but always brings confusion and dissension. There are a thousand temptations in disguise, prepared for those who have the light of truth, and the only safety for any of us is in receiving no new doctrine, no new interpretation of the scriptures, without first submitting it to brethren of experience. Lay it before them in a humble, teachable spirit, with earnest prayer, and if they see no light in it, yield to their judgment. Satan is constantly at work, but few have any idea of his activity and subtlety. The people of God must be prepared to withstand the willy foe. It is this resistance that Satan dreads. He knows better than we do the limit of his power, and how easily he can be overcome if we resist and face him. Through divine strength, the weakest saint is more than a match for him and all his angels, and if brought to the test, he would be able to prove his superior power. Therefore, Satan's step is noiseless, his, movers, his movements stealthy, and his batteries masked. He does not venture to show himself openly, lest he arouse the Christian's dormant energies and send him to God in, in prayer.